Morning. Nichols Retirement Empire. You know, I was talking yesterday about getting outside. Everybody needs to get outside, do some manly things out here outdoors. And uh, makes you feel good about yourself, getting outside and doing a bunch of work, doing a bunch of physical labor. Uh, just something about it that's very satisfying. And after saying all that manly stuff today, I'm going to be cleaning inside. Yeah, I guess uh, if I'm going to be cleaning in here, I might as well make the best of it. Um, I'm going to start off with the toilet. I'm the bathroom man. I get to do the bathrooms and the, and the floors. I get to do all the sweeping and the mopping, and we have hardwood floors. So that's my job. And I'll say this, uh, men, help your wife clean the house. Uh, the products I will be using in this video Clorox bleach, highly recommend that for toilets, anything you really want clean. Scrubbing bowls, highly recommended for bathroom cleaning. Safeway glass cleaner for the mirrors. magic erasers if you've if you've not used a magic eraser, I don't want to be funny but if you have not used a magic eraser you need to check these things out when it comes to cleaning bathtubs and stuff this is the deal uh, I guess this is makeup for all the cleaning that I didn't do in college man when I was in college oh my god <laughs> none of us clean there were like four or five six guys sometimes living in one of these apartments and we never cleaned it was nasty I got to see every color a toilet bowl could turn I got to see the progression to where it turns black I mean I got to see the ooh, ooh. Right, let that percolate for a while I like to think that uh, I really don't mess up the bathroom very much most of these products are not mine obviously there's no hair care products that belong to me here So when you eliminate the hair care products and the makeup, all that's left is a toothbrush. That's all I have out is a toothbrush. She does not understand why I have these. Why do I keep these? She thinks I should just throw these away. I think I should keep these. I've already talked about saving money. I've already talked about being old and being retired. Man, that's a lot of soap. That could last me for weeks. Kitchen shears. Why are there kitchen shears in the bathroom? Why do, how do these things get in here? Now for you young people out there, when you clean something, you actually have to remove the other things from the top of it. You can't just leave all the stuff that's on here. Why are these in here? Well, candy jars. Why are candy jars on my sink? I've already found kitchen shears. Now I got candy jars. How about the heater? Think we still need the heater in here? It's June 19th. Get rid of all the hair, which of course, <laughs> on my sink, is not a problem. But if you're a girl, or maybe you're a guy, and you got, you know, hair, get the hair off first. Now, That's clean. You could toss you a salad in there if you want to. My, my side takes about 45 seconds. This side will take me a while just to get all this crap, all this beautification crap out of the way. Not that I'm against using your beautification stuff. And not that my wife needs it. She's naturally beautiful. Um, I don't know why she has any of this stuff. Why she doesn't just get up in the morning and toss her hair around a little bit and just be naturally beautiful. But she seems to think she needs all this stuff. So uh, I I don't know what to say here. I want I want to I don't want to get in trouble. I got to be real careful right here. There's a line that I don't want to cross. I'm just gonna clean this stuff up the best I can 
And when I start putting this stuff up, I don't know where it goes. There's some kind of order to it, and I just put it in places. So I probably should just do that and shut shut up, shut my, shut my mouth. I'm going to shut my mouth right now. Shut it. Uh, magnification mirrors. Uh, these are really good in case you get like some wood chips in your eye or something manly like that. Uh, splinters from hard outside work. You get this little magnification mirror. It's really good for stuff like that. Man, i got to be honest with you. Some of this stuff, I don't even know what it's for. I mean, I don't, I don't know what you do with it or why you have it or why it takes so many q-tips and and cotton balls what I mean there's like five million we go through millions of cotton balls what do you do with cotton balls I understand the q-tips for your ears cotton balls and I don't even know what this stuff is I, don't, I have no clue where it goes. This obviously goes here. All right, I can do that. Oh, that's nice. These are all in the thing, so they're all together. Look, she actually has a little. <laughs> hey, I must have made some kind of influence on her. She's got a little thing set up right there. She's that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty frugal, right? That's good for her. She's saving money. Now, I would think that people that make Cleaning supplies for bathrooms would be heavily invested in the makeup industry. Because when you look at this compared to mine, man, this is unbelievable. I mean, this is crazy. They must make, I mean, you wouldn't even need the cleaning products that we have if it wasn't for makeup and hair. So the makeup and the hair people, you got to be tied in with the uh, people that make the scrubbing bubbles and the bleach and all that kind of stuff because this is unbelievable. It's a hundred times worse than, than mine. Except when I was in college and when I was living by myself, it got pretty nasty. But other than that, in normal situations, makeup makes a mess. Is there some kind of rule, like with women, that when they spray hairspray, they have to spray it like direct? I mean, do y'all even get it on your hair? Or you just spray it like, you know, I got two dollars and a wife. I mean, do y'all just spray it like straight onto the wall or straight onto the mirror? What, what do you aim at? Because you're not aiming at your hair. You're not aiming at your head. I don't know what you're aiming at when the hairspray goes on. Now, of all the crap that's in here, the only thing that belongs to me is that. That's my, that's my shampoo, that's my body wash, that's everything, is that right there? Oh well, I take it back, All right, my bad. I do have some, uh, some shaving cream. Do, oh my God. I do have some shaving cream uh, in there, I do shave and shower, I'm, I take that back, These, those two items. Everything else are mysterious beauty products. Man, they're great, I love those things. I just can't say enough about them. And for when it comes to cleaning the shower, getting out, you know, when I was younger, I thought these just cleaned themselves. I mean, what are you cleaning with? You clean with soap and water. So all you're putting in here all the time is soap and water, and I'll just be self-cleaning. Sweating and stuff, cleaning stuff I don't even use. I shouldn't even clean the stuff I don't use. I, should, I don't know why. You know what? I got this thing in my head, and I don't know if you other men have it. If not, you need to get it. But I got this thing in my head that tells me, like, Chris, you need to shut up. You're, you're getting somewhere here that you need to stop.